the formidable robot. God fucking damn it. I never should have reacted like a fucking pussy when I downloaded hauntedgaming.exe. After being tormented for a few nights of that stupid floating head, I was able to remove it from my mind by watching YouTube poops and listening to music, along with destroying that fucking file. Two months later, I was surfing YouTube for a new SpongeBob poop, when I noticed that my subscriptions had been updated. I scrolled through my subscriptions and found a video by some ordinary gamers. It had a title called, The Found Episode. It was 10-30 minutes long. I opened it up, and I was greeted with the same opening logo, with Sog appearing in either transparent goo or water. In truth, that liquid has always stumped me as to what it's made of. The screen cut to black, and I heard Sog making his typical introduction to a new creepypasta, called, Neverending Nightmare Part 3. As he was playing the game and doing commentary, a faint thud was heard in the background. Mutahar looked around. He shrugged it off, then went back to playing and commentating. When the video reached to 30, a louder thud resonated in the room, making Mutahar jump. He left the screen for about 20 seconds. He came back, muttering in anger about something being broken. He continued his playthrough, commentating as he played Neverending Nightmare. At 3.24, the camera began to flicker and snow appeared. Mutahar didn't seem to notice, until the camera suddenly made a loud ping noise 7 seconds later. Mutahar bitch slapped the camera, but the camera refused to stop pinging. Mutahar punched the camera, sending it flying backwards. The pinging stopped. Mutahar picked up the camera and resumed his video, but had a look of fear and suspicion on his face. At 5.43, a loud, unearthly moan echoed through the room. Mutahar abruptly told his viewers that, I'm out. He grabbed his camera, and darted out of his house. When he turned the camera to his home, a large pentagram had been carved into his garage door, with smoke seeping out from the cracks. He was yelling about why he had decided to continue so long with haunted games and creepypastas. Suddenly, almost like something out of Doom 3, the pentagram glowed bright orange, and demons began pouring out of his home. He got in his car, threw his camera onto the dashboard, and drove as fast as he could away from his home. At 7.13, Mutahar stops his car and gets out, grabbing the camera as he exits. He was near an old home that was falling apart. The camera turned abruptly to Mutahar's face. He was sweating like crazy. He didn't approach the house, but there was an odd feeling that made me feel that this house had a connection to him. Mutahar turned to the camera, tears rolling down his face. He told the camera that the house used to be where he lived, but abandoned it when he was young. He then turned around and went back into his car, assuming that he had calmed down enough to return to his humble abode. At 9.32, he was back at his home. It had been partially burned down. He grabbed his camera, ran inside, and gasped. Pentagrams were burned into the walls and carpets. The only area that wasn't touched by the fire was the computers he had been using to make his plan Neverending Nightmare Part 3. He went over to check his computer, but all that was on his monitor was jumbled letters and numbers, accompanied with twitching display and inaudible languages emitting from the speakers. He then heard a roar behind him. Turning around, he saw neither a man or beast, but a black shadow, muttering something in Latin. Mutahar ran out with his camera, screaming. He quickly turned around, and saw his house burn down completely, except for his computer. At 10.04, there was a zoomed-in shot of his computer, suddenly being engulfed in flames and being dragged into hell. Mutahar began to run for his life, but some unseen presence hit him from behind, knocking him out into a neighbor's lawn. The camera fell to the ground and received a crack in the lens. As the seconds clicked away, the numbers began to glitch, showing 666 in some areas, with the twitching and static of the screen flashing the face of Satan.